You are welcome to Deep Tutor Academy, where we are devoted to building excellence in students, especially when it comes to the STEM subjects. Our video today is going to be the response to a question from one of our fans, in which, looking at this question on set theory featuring Venn diagrams, Christine is going ahead to query us to help out with one question that she or he has on mind. And looking at these highlighted comments, this is a question we are going to be looking at. And yeah. Christine is actually interested in sets that is involving premiership teams, okay? So I guess Christine is actually um, somebody interested in football, but no problem. I find it quite interesting, and I'm going to be looking at this holistically. So let's head over to our video and solve this together. So here is a question stating that in a survey conducted on a campus, it was found that students like watching the Premier League teams, Man U, Chelsea, and Arsenal, okay? And it was also found that every student who is a fan of Hasna is also a fan of Man U or Chelsea or both. Then 42 students were fans of Man U, 45 were fans of Chelsea, 7 were fans of both Man U and Chelsea, 11 were fans of both Man U and Hasna, then 28 were fans of both Chelsea and Hasna, and twice as many students were fans of only Man U as those who are fans of only Chelsea. Our mandate, the question before us, is to find the most favorite team among the students. So that way, among that, we need to look for the team that has the highest number of fans among the students. So, if you want to look at this, our diagram will help us. And here, we can take the information and dissect it piecewise. In the first case, we are told that 42 students were fans of Man U. So, if you are looking at Man U, you can say Man U here has 42 students, okay? And then, 45 students were fans of Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea, we have 45, right? Now, seven students were fans of both Man U and Chelsea, Man U, Man U here, and Chelsea here, we are told that seven fans were fans of both of them. Now, that means this region here, here and here, is going to be seven. But as a rule of thumb, it is best that we first look at the point of common interest. So if you call this X, this other region here will now be seven minus X, because X will be the region combining the three of them, Man U, Chelsea, and Arsenal. But now we are looking at only Man U and Chelsea. So if X is combining the three, the one combining Man U and Chelsea will be 7 minus X. So this is the rule of thumb that we need to just apply and will be good and fine, okay? Furthermore, we are told that 11 students were fans of both Man U and Arsenal, okay? So 11 students, fan of both Man U and Arsenal. Again, X is out of it. So this will be 11 minus X and then... 20 students were fans of both Chelsea and Arsenal. This is Chelsea and this is Arsenal. We are told that 28 students were fans of both. Again, X is out of it, so this will be 28 minus X. Now, there was one information that I particularly left out initially, and it is there that it was found that every student who is a fan of Arsenal is also a fan of Man U or Chelsea or both. What is the implication of this? This means that those who are actually fans of Hasna, they also had other interests. They had other feelings. They were also fans of Man U or Chelsea or both. So that is meaning that students that are only fans of Asena do not exist. Here, Asena is actually zero. Students that love Asena alone without loving other teams is zero. Okay? And then, if you want to just finish up with the information that we have. Here, we are not told that... Twice as many students were fans of only Man U as those who are fans of only Chelsea. Meaning that if we take the number of students who are fans of Chelsea alone, and we take that as Y, then the number of students who are fans of Man U is 2Y. So what we have in the end is that those who are fans of Chelsea alone, if that is representing Y, then those who are fans of Man U alone, that is 2Y, all right? And then if we have that as our information, we can go ahead to say we want to solve this question because all the information that we have been given, we have exhausted it. Note that those who are fans of Arsenal alone does not exist. Those who are Arsenal alone, we are not having that at all. So this is the pictorial view of what our Venn diagram is going to be looking like. And in this particular question, we are not told the total, total number of students. So we need to work within this information we are giving and try to extrapolate what is going to be the team that has the highest number of fans among the students. That's going to be the favorite team 
and we are going to look at the champions in this question together. So what do we do now? We have been told already in the question that 42 students are those who are fans of Man U, meaning that we need to add Man U only, which is true. Why? Then all of these sections of the circle of Man U, if you add them together, that is going to give us 42, meaning that we can have 2y plus 11 minus x for this region, and then plus x, this, and plus 7 minus x is going to give us 42. So we have plus x plus 7 minus x, that is equal to 42. So if you are to solve all of this, we can see that here, minus x and x, and then we are left with 2y, here we have minus x, here we have 11 plus 7, that will be plus 18 is equal to 42. So if 18 goes to the other side, we have this as 2y minus x is equal to 42 minus 18. That will be 24. And I can call this equation 1. That is for man u. In the same way, if you look at Chelsea, 7 minus x, x, 28 minus x, and y, all of them will add up to 45, which is the total number of fans among the students that support Chelsea. So in that particular case, we are going to have y, plus 7 minus x plus x plus 28 minus x is equal to 45, all right? So if you want to solve this, we also have y here again, minus x and plus x will cut out 7 and 28, that will be 35 minus x is equal to 45. So if 35 moves to the other side, it will be minus 35. So we have y minus x is equal to 45 minus 35, and that is 10. So we can call this equation 2. And as easy as it gets, we are now having a set of simultaneous equation, this equation 1 and this equation 2, that we can make an attempt to solve, and then we can get out the values for each of them and get to know which of the team is the favorite among the students. So let's go ahead and try and do that. Now, these are the two equations that we have. And to solve this, I can say equation 1 minus equation 2. Because I can see that this x is common to both minus x minus x. If I subtract, it will knock out. And you will see that now. In the first case, 2y minus y, 2y minus y. In this second case, I have x minus minus x. This minus and this minus x will multiply to be plus. So I have minus x plus x, which is zero. So x I've been taking care of. Then it will be 24 from equation 1 minus 10 from equation 2. Yeah. 2y minus y will be y, 24 minus 10 will be 14, that is y. For us to get the value of x, we can use any of these two equations. I can use from y minus x is equal to 10. I'm going to have, what is the value of y? That is 14 minus x is equal to 10. If I rearrange taking x to the right hand side and 10 to the other side, I'm going to have x will be 14 minus 10, and that will be 4. So now I have the value of y. And I have the value of x. The only thing remaining for me is to input those values in the Venn diagram and then add up those that constitute the fans of each team. And we are going to see which one is having the highest number and that is going to be the favorite team. So let's go ahead and do that right about now. So now we have gotten y to be 14 and we got x to be 4. So let's input those values on each of these our spaces. Here we have x to be 4. So this is 4. Very good. 7 minus x will become 7 minus 4, and that will be 3. 28 minus x will be 28 minus 4, and that will be 24. 11 minus x will be 11 minus 4, and that will be 7. This is 7, okay? Y, we have gotten to be 14, so this is 14. And then 2y, we have gotten y to be 14, so 2y will be 2 times 14. And that is 28. So this is what we have now. So if we want to look at all the data that we have for Asana, we can say that Asana is now 7 plus 4 plus 24. That will be 7 plus 28. And that will be 35. Okay. Then we can look at Manu. Manu is going to give us 28 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3. Those are the fans that constitute those that are supporting Man U. So this is 28 plus 7, that is 35. 35 plus 4 is 39. 39 plus 3, that is 42. And then Chelsea, if you want to look at Chelsea Football Club, this will be 14 plus 24. 
plus 3 and plus 4. And this is going to give us 14 plus 24 is 38. 38 plus 3 is 41. 41 plus 4, of course, that is 45. So, inherently, what we're given initially, you know, we're told that 45 were actually fans of Chelsea. We are still getting that as 45. Then we're told that 42 were fans of Man U. We still got that as 42. The only thing we didn't know initially was Arsenal. But with the information that we're given, we've been able to confirm that the students that are fans of Arsenal are 35. So, even from the data that we're giving, Chelsea still remain the team with the highest number of fans. And then the most favorite team is nothing but Chelsea. So, yeah, the answer is nothing but Chelsea. So, champions, they remain champions, they have. And that is what we have here. Chelsea is a coin here. And this is a very good example of how we can use our understanding of set and Venn diagram to interpret questions and solve for this. So, Christine, I hope you, you are going to find this quite useful. We've demystified it and your answer is Chelsea. Congratulations to them. So, these are the kind of videos that we do from time to time on Deep Academy in a bid to prepare our students for excellence in the academics, particularly as it concerns the STEM subjects. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe and leave your comments in the section below. Like the video, share with your friends, share with your loved ones, and until next time, God bless you.